Hey everyone, I'm Mine, and this is set number 71768, Jay's Golden Dragon Motorbike from the LEGO Ninjago theme. This set contains 137 pieces, two minifigures, and will retail for $19.99 in the US. This is an all-new set that does not come out until June 1st, 2022 in most parts of the world, and August 1st, 2022 in North America, but it was sent to me early by the LEGO Group through the LEGO Ambassador Network, but all opinions expressed in this video are my own. Before I get started, I'd just like to ask you guys to please like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'm doing early reviews of all nine of the summer 2022 Ninjago sets. There should already be some others up on the channel, and there should be more coming very, very soon, as well as early summer 2022 LEGO Minecraft reviews, and a lot of other fun stuff down the line. Only about 16% of my audience is actually subscribed, so if that sounds like the type of videos you'd be interested in, subscribing helps you see them as soon as they're posted, and also really helps support me in the channel. But with all that being said, let's get on to the review. So here is the main build of Jay's Golden Dragon Motorbike, and as you may suspect, it is a golden motorbike for Jay. This thing admittedly is quite small, which was a little disappointing to see for a $20 set. I expected the build to be a little more significant, but I'll talk about the value more at the end of the video because I do think it manages to justify the value a little bit. But yeah, there's not much to say about this. It's a fairly standard motorbike design. I like the wheel that they use in the front. It's a pretty unconventional wheel for a motorcycle. I really like the use of the Evo Dragon head right here unprinted for the front of the bike. It adds obviously to the namesake Golden Dragon motorbike, but also gives it this like really cool lightning feel and adds a nice like triangular point to the front. You have a little bit of gold plating on the side, these blades running backwards, and I like these bits of lightning coming out the exhaust where you would normally see like fire. That fits the whole like Lightning J aesthetic really well. There's a much bigger wheel at the back which creates a nice bit of variety from the back to the front, and on this one side there's a wing piece which you can flip down, and that serves as sort of a brake for the bike so you can display it. Because when that's up it can be really easy to topple this over, but that brake helps prevent that. You can see there's a few stickered pieces at the top of the bike as well as right here, you have the new symbol that's on all the Golden Ninja's hoods, as well as just some more gold plating. And then here's the seat for Jay to sit. And then here's how Jay actually looks riding the vehicle. One thing I really appreciate about this set is the way that Jay can actually ride the vehicle with his wings. You don't have to take apart Golden Dragon Jay to have him ride the bike. Like normally vehicles like this would require you to remove the back attachment on Jay. But no, they built this so that the wings can fit. And that kind of explains why the bike feels so sparse in some areas, because it has to leave room for the wings. And I have to say, the bike does have a much cooler look when Jay's actually on it. And so I do actually quite like that about this. And I'd say overall, this is a fairly solid little bike build. It's a bit small, but it uses a lot of fun parts, it looks nice, and it's fun to roll around. So I think that's pretty much everything you need. And then real quick, the side build in the set is called a Crystal Spider. And this is a very similar little build, reminds me of the kind of things we got in Monkey Kid last year. But it's got this trans pink eye out the front, a few trans pink bricks out the back to represent crystals, and then six individually posable legs. Yeah, this guy's only made up of a few parts, but he's very cute, and it gives you a second enemy to fight against, not just the one figure that comes in the set. Nothing exceptional, but I like that he's included. Really fun overall. So here is the first minifigure in the set, we have Golden Dragon J, and wow, this is one of the best Ninjago minifigures of all time. I'm not sure what order these reviews are going up, so I'm not sure this is the first of the dragon suits you guys are seeing, or if you guys have already seen one in another review, but regardless, all four of these are some of the best Ninjago minifigures of all time, and I'd argue even some of the best LEGO figures of all time. The design here is just fantastic overall. The use of the transparent parts is so cool, especially like in bright light like this. I love how the legs look with the lightning bursting on top of them. You've got like this golden chest plate with J's symbol, the letter J in the Ninjago language. And then he's got this golden armor that these wings are attached to. The golden armor itself is very similar to the armor that the Shintarans wear in Ninjago. So I'm curious if this armor actually does come from Shintaro in the show. And then the mask is golden with this dragon face on it and still molded with trans yellow at the back. I'm so happy that this figure uses trans yellow instead of trans lime green, because Jay has used trans lime green in the past and it doesn't look good for him at all. But the yellow represents electricity really well and makes this figure look fantastic. There's also the two huge wings out the back, these are originally from the Jay Evo dragon from earlier this year, but they're actually on Jay here to put him in his dragon form, and I think it actually fits him really well. Turning this guy around, taking a look at the back, you will see my one criticism of this figure, and that is these blue Technic pins that connect them. Those are really out of place here. Luckily, blue is Jay's colors. They don't feel as out of place here as they do on, say, Kai or Cole. But if those could be golden or trans yellow, they would look a lot better. Lego sticking to the solid blue for these really does take away from this figure. Not a huge deal in my opinion, and you can't notice it from the front. But yeah, when you're taking a look at it from the back, or more from the top, it definitely looks a bit out of place. That dragon mask, by the way, I have mixed feelings on. It does look cool, but I don't know, part of me feels like just a fully trans yellow mask would look even cooler. I feel like the gold kinda takes away from it. 
But that's just me. You guys all let me know what you guys think of it in the comments below. It is still very cool for what it is. Part of me just wishes it was a bit different. Oh, and then in terms of accessories, he comes with the all new nunchucks of lightning. The golden weapons have been redesigned for this wave and every single golden weapon does come in every set. I'm not going to go over the other ones here because they're not a main part of the build, but if you want to see those, you can check out my other reviews. But yeah, the new Nunchucks of Lightning are here. And in short, I think these are marginally worse than the last ones we got. The ones that just use the dragon hilts with the chain, I think, are just way better. The chain here is kind of connected in the middle, which looks weird. I'm not sure why it's connected there. And it just sort of looks out of place in Jay's hands. There's not, like, a good way for him to hold them. Like, they look like they're going too high up like this, but it looks off holding them upside down as well. So while I do like the new dragon mold for the hilt and the nunchucks of lightning, yeah, unfortunately in execution I don't think they're that great. And I really wish they came with a trans blue chain, because that would really help them look like a lot better than the previous version. But for me personally, I think I'm going to stick with the legacy version of the nunchucks of lightning. Removing those though, now let's take a look at the face print underneath. And this face print is actually not new for this figure. This is a reuse of the face print from the core spinners, which some people might find disappointing, but honestly, I don't mind. What I suspect happened was this figure was designed first and they just released it a little bit early for the core spinners. But the trans yellow head fits perfectly here. So I don't really have any complaints that it's reused, like it, it works. Then removing the armor, you can see the full torso design, and I think the figure looks really good just like this too. Just all the transparent parts without anything in the way. There's such a cool look to this, maybe just slap a hairpiece on there, and you really have like this powered up elemental look to Jay. And yeah, I think I mentioned it before, but that torso design is really cool. Love that golden armor, just the way the lightning just bursts out of his chest. This is the best like elemental figure since the original energy in 2012. And in fact, I think they might have finally surpassed that. I think this might finally be better than NRG, which is great to say considering that came out in 2012 and 10 years later, they finally made a figure that's better. Around the back again, you can see how the light shines through those transparent parts. No alternate face, of course, but there's the back torso print with that metallic lightning printing and there's Jay Simmel in the middle. Just really fantastic overall. Yeah, just an amazing Ninjago figure, amazing Lego figure all around. Really, really love this one. And then the other minifigure in the set is just a Vengestone Warrior, and this is the same one that comes in pretty much every other set this way, so I'm not going to spend too long on him. But as I mentioned in my other reviews, this is a fantastic minifigure for just like a generic fill and way more detail than I expected it to be. There are two versions of these guys, and I do think this is the slightly worse version, because the other version has two transparent arms, while this guy only has one. But regardless, it's cool that there is two variants, and just the use of the transparent parts gives him a really cool look. I love the way the light shines through his eyes, and he's got this sort of like dragon wolf-like head. And then the torso design with the little bits of gold and crystal and everything running up his body, and the one leg and one arm completely made out of crystal. Yeah, just a super well-designed figure, especially for just like a generic army grunt. And you can see the back torso print too, which looks equally good. Really, really love these guys, happy to get them in so many sets. So, what are my overall thoughts on this set? I am overall quite satisfied with this set. I think the build is pretty fun, but the highlight for sure is the minifigures, which are fantastic. Now, an important aspect to talk about is the price. I know a lot of people were upset by this price, and I totally get that. It is pretty expensive for how small this bike is. But I think it is important to consider the minifigure when considering the price for this set. Because consider that collectible minifigures are $5 a piece, and this minifigure is likely more detailed than collectible minifigure because it has things like the wings, and collectible minifigures don't have these dull molded and transparent parts usually. But let's just treat Jay as a collectible minifigure like a level of detail, right? That would value that as a $5 minifigure. So not counting Jay, do I see the rest of the set as about $15 of value? Yeah, I guess so. It is still maybe a little bit expensive, but I think the price is overall alright for what you get, and for the quality of minifigure, I'd say it's worth it. So would I recommend this set? Yeah, for sure, pick it up. It's only $20, so for most people that won't be too much. And if you don't have a ton of money, this is a fine one to pass up on, but if you just want one of the Golden Dragon Ninja, this is a great one to get, it's a very cheap way to do it. Or if Jay's your favorite ninja, for sure pick this one up. But I think that's about all I have to say for this video. Let me know what you guys think of this set in the comments below. As I said at the beginning of this video, if you enjoyed, please like and subscribe to the channel if you're new. There's lots of other videos just like this one coming very, very soon. So by liking and subscribing, it'll help you see those videos as soon as they're posted and also really help support me and the channel. But as this one, I think that's about going to do it. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.